Did you know that ghosts and evil spirits don't give a shit about COVID-19? They don't. Let's review host. Host stars Haley Bishop, Jim Amore, and is directed by Rob Savage. What is up guys? Welcome to another brand new 2020 review. Uh, one good thing about 2020 and having no theaters is at least uh, low budget horror films can still be made and you can even go as far as making them during quarantine because that's what happened with this movie. Rob Savage actually made a laptop horror movie, that's what we'll call these, laptop horror, during quarantine. And that's pretty damn impressive, you know? Some people, they just, they don't like sitting back and doing nothing and waiting. Uh, how can I overcome this obstacle? Well, there's different ways to do it. And laptop horror movies are perfect for that because the, the characters in the movie, they're not in the same location. And that's what Host is. It's that type of movie. But before we get knee deep into this review, my pre-recording vinyl listen for this session is Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Just wanted to show that off. Boys are going to rock. Also, the next DD Live this Thursday is going to be my top 13 favorite scenes from the Friday the 13th franchise. Look forward to that. And then the following Thursday, DD Live, I'm going to have special guest Michael Trapson himself. He came to me with this amazing idea. We're going to do Michael versus Jason Definitive. And we're going to pretty much rack and stack all the Michael and Jason killers, putting them against each other, starting from the earlier movies and working our way up. Uh, if you check my socials, you can see a little bit more info on that, how it's going to all work out and everything. But man, I can't wait. This is going to be badass. But anyway, let's get into this movie, Host. Um, now, these laptop horror movies, if you remember, Unfriended came out. They had a sequel to that. I really enjoyed Unfriended. It, it, it surprised me, actually. Unfriended Dark Web, not so much. I didn't really care about the plot. I thought it got really stupid. But then there's this new movie, Host, that literally was filmed during quarantine. So within the last few months... And right away, Shudder said, send it our way. Let, let's give it a chance. And Shudder, thank God for this freaking service. Again, I'm not getting paid by Shudder. I really love, as a horror fan, having an option, a streaming option, that just divvies out horror movies. Uh, and a lot of exclusives, too. And Host is a Shudder exclusive. So, guys, if you don't have Shudder, you can't watch this movie. So make sure you get Shudder. It's like, I think it's like five bucks a month, something like that. Uh, but it really is just a gift that keeps on giving. Again, this is not a promo for Shudder, okay? This this isn't a 30-second block where, you, you know, I have to talk about... No, not at all. This is me trying to tell you guys, trying to do you a favor. Fuck you! I'm trying to help you, motherfucker! But host, I will go ahead and cut to the chase. This was a really effective 50 minutes. That's right, it's only 50 minutes. It's less than an hour, but that's okay. Uh, you know, you're in and out of there really quick. But I will say, of the laptop horror movies, this one is easily the most effective. And I've only seen three of them, okay? But I think this is easily the most effective just because of how crazy the last act is, and we will get to that last act. But, first off, quick plot synopsis. Uh, you have the this group of friends and uh, I think it starts off with like six of them. And they're all from different countries. You got one from America. You got one from Scotland. You got one from, I believe, Australia. And you got one from the UK. So, I mean, that's the internet for you. The, 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 the communities out there on the internet, it, it really knows no locational bounds. You can be friends with anybody from anywhere, not having actually stood next to them. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. But I guess we'll call her our main character. She's the one that kind of sets up this group and she's going to do this seance with this medium. She, you know, they, they get bored, I guess, and they want to try out this little uh, seance. And what the medium wants to do is give these people a chance to connect with a loved one that has passed away. Now, there are a couple rules to this thing, and really the big thing is you have to take this seriously. You can't make a joke out of it because if you do, then it could present evil spirits. They could come into play, and once they get into our plane, uh, then it can get nasty and, and people can die. Now, one thing I do like about this specific subgenre of horror is it opens the door for a lot more freedom with the characters. I mean, you can obviously tell that there are moments throughout this movie where these characters are uh, reacting 
spontaneously off of things that are going on. You can tell that this isn't like a 100% you must follow the script. No, there's definitely a feeling of improvisation throughout this. You know, characters reacting to things to sometimes add a laugh and sometimes to add to the horror, add some scares in there. Also, you know, keeping up with the current times because now we have... Now, I don't know all the terminology for these, you know, because it's hard to keep up with all these apps and all the different features that they have. But there's one, you can like put a, a skin, like a mask skin on your face. And that presents a cool opportunity for horror because you could have the evil spirit literally wearing the, the skin. I guess you could call it like a Snapchat skin or something like that. It's like a face swaps feature. I don't know, okay? I'm too old to know this shit. But it's creepy there's some creepy moments in this movie where the evil spirit uses some of the the features that are available and one of the other features is you can have like a custom backdrop and one of the characters she uses like a video of herself from before so you literally see the character walking through the frame while she is standing in front of the computer in the present day and so that plays into what happens later in the movie especially when the shit really hits the fan and, you know, there's a moment in the movie where the other characters, they, they forget, oh my God, she's not actually there. And one thing I like about this laptop horror movie too is it does have moments where the characters will actually, you know, grab the, the phone. Because some I think they're using like the phone and they'll take it with them. And, you know, you'll have a moment where a character goes up into like the attic and she's taking the phone with her. And it just makes it creepier. It makes it feel like you're stepping out of the laptop horror world and into an actual, I guess, like found footage type world. So it's kind of a blending of genres at moments in this movie. And that's a nice break, you know, because after a while when you watch, you know, six little boxes on your screen and you're just paying attention to everybody, you know, what they're doing, it's nice when you can focus on one of them and then that, that person takes the viewer to a different location in the house and it definitely lends itself to the scares in this movie because as they're holding the camera at like say a you know an, an open doorway in the house you're constantly looking you're looking for the evil spirit you're looking for objects to move and there are quite a few moments in this movie where you'll you'll see objects just completely slide back you'll see people slide back out of frame some creepy shit and really that's the big thing I want to foot stomp about this because like I said, it's a 50 minute movie. It knows what it is. It's a quick roller coaster ride. You get on it, you get off it. And it flew right by. But the big thing for me was the last act. You would think with these laptop horror movies, with these found footage movies, usually they save the big scare for you know the last five minutes of the movie but this movie i'm not going to tell you how long but it's a lot longer than five minutes once the uh the dominoes start falling and the evil spirits start having their fun it goes on for quite a while actually and i'll just say this there is one scare in this movie that really was brutal and it shocked the hell out of me and i think that alone is enough for you to to leave this review right now and go ahead and pull this thing up on shutter and watch it it was a damn effective scare, and I, I was literally like, oh, wow, that's, that's intense. There's blood, too, okay? So I'll just say that. Now, as far as any cons, of course, you're going to poke at this movie at times and say, why is this person carrying the camera with them? You know, and this is the common trope that we see in found footage movies. You know, there's moments where you're like, that character, at this point, when they are that afraid for their life, they're not going to grab the camera and take it with them. Unless there's a good reason for them too. And there were a couple of moments in this where I didn't think they needed to do that. I don't think they would do that because your fight or flight jumps in and you probably wouldn't. You would just take off running. So little things like that, but this movie doesn't worry about that. It knows that it needs to have the person take the camera to keep you in the story. Otherwise, you can't see what's going on. But overall, guys, giving this a purchase worthy. I really enjoy the hell out of it, actually. And, uh, you know, it's a fun movie to watch with a group of people, too. I would say that. Um, if you got some friends over or something like that, turn the lights off, throw this on. Uh, it can get pretty damn creepy at times. It's probably the scariest of the uh, laptop horror movies I've seen. So anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on Host? Looking forward to hearing them. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Follow me on Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and drum them out.